Hey, Divine Fems. <clears throat> I hope you all are doing well today. So let's see. Let's tap into your energy. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome kings and queens. High priestess, high priest. Yeah, how my high priestesses and my high priests. Okay. Um, my empresses and my emperors. I hope you guys are, you know, doing well. Enjoying your, what's today? Tuesday? Okay. Tuesday the 12th. So... Yeah, let's see what's going on with you all. All right, let's see. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, guys. I'm sending all that love back to you all tenfold, okay? So let's see. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm. My divine friends and our loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my divine friends and protect me as I channel the messages here for my divine feminines. My, my cat was in here on my desk last night. He got all kind of hair. <laughs> on my table so let's see what's going on for my divine feminists what do they need to excuse me hear and know <clears throat> okay so we got Aquarius reversed so this could be a distorted Aquarius or something that's going on with somebody's 11th house or this Aquarian energy, there could be some unexpected shifts and changes, probably not in the best way with Aquarius in the reverse. You know, Aquarius is that full energy, that Uranus energy. So unexpected twists and turns. Maybe somebody here is decided, like they don't want to break free or something, or they don't want to do something, or they don't want to take risks. They don't want to, I don't know. Or with the Aquarian energy, that's the 11th house. So maybe somebody could be losing friends or the people that they affiliate with the, or the people that you affiliate with, you no longer want to affiliate with them. Or these people don't want to affiliate with this Aquarius or whatever this is. But there could be a distorted Aquarius here. What's the Aquarius reverse? Yeah, we got ignoring the signs. What's Aquarius reverse is ignoring the signs? Stubborn as fuck. Exactly. <laughs> so somebody, I feel like it's not around a good group of people, possibly. This could be you. Or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody's ignoring the signs about the people that they're, they affiliate with or that they're around. Okay. What's ignoring the signs? Ignoring the signs about what? Stolen money. Yeah. What's stubborn as fuck? Closed chapter is over ending. So I feel like somebody's being really just, like I said, they're being stubborn or difficult or they don't want to compromise or, or, or let, they don't want to let some, somebody don't want to let something go. Somebody still wants to steal your money or they still want to do something even though this chapter has closed, even though something is over, somebody still wants to keep doing some shit. Is what it sounds like to me. Okay, let's see. Or some of you guys are ignoring signs about someone that's around you that's stealing your money. So you need to pay more attention. Or maybe you're being in denial with the stubborn energy. But I don't know. Let's see what else. Check my phone. Holding on to your energy. Out late at night. Earth sign. What's out late at night? Coming back around. Just holding on to your energy. Yeah, toxic energy, evil eye, energy vampire. <clears throat> so 
somebody here could be blowing your phone up because they're trying to or somebody's blowing someone's phone up about you is what i'm getting like somebody here still wants to hold on to something or still want to do something but i feel like somebody else is like no i don't want to do that shit no more or, or something like that or maybe this is you saying yeah i don't want to do this no more with you or whatever and somebody's still trying to hold on to you or whatever whoever this is they spend late nights out or whatever or they could be pulling up to the same spots that you pull up at okay when you if you do go out late and you what go to a bar or you go out or whatever the fuck they're trying to pull up to the same spots that you are at or whatever it's like somebody's trying to track you down constantly or get somebody else to do it somebody wants you to check a message in your phone they want you to check something and i feel like you're purposely ignoring it because you don't want to be bothered so what else? somebody's gonna approach you maybe at night I just feel like be careful, child. So we got time for me. Resetting energy and rest. Yeah. Somebody is still on some dumb shit. Yeah. It says, I have found the one whom my soul loves. Marriage. So this could be you resting here, preparing for marriage with someone since you found your person. Yeah, tunnel vision. Thinking about only one thing, ignoring everything else. Exactly. I feel like you don't want to be bothered. Okay, so... What what else? Left out in the cold, ghosted, ignoring you. <laughs> what else? Gaslighting. Both still in love. So somebody here is trying to convince you that you and some, you and them are still in love, but you're not. I feel like you're focused on your marriage or you're focused on your relationship or your soon-to-be marriage or whatever. I feel like you're resting or you made peace with something, Divine Feminine. So somebody is trying to gaslight you into bringing them back into your life or whatever this is. I'm hearing somebody say, man, you know, we got history. You know, we go way back, blah, blah, blah. I feel like that shit ain't matter when it was gaslighting you or emotionally abusing you. Yeah, lifetimes together, sweet revenge, under attack, being petty. For some of you, somebody is in a karmic twin flame connection. They're, they're in a karmic, they're with a fallen twin or somebody's with your fallen twin. And somebody's trying to convince them that they belong with them. But this part, yeah, comfort or something like that. There could be a Taurus here going through an ego death. Somebody wants revenge. Either this is your ex or whoever this is, they want revenge with you or against you because they feel like y'all belong together and you don't belong with nobody else. Or there's a third party here that's with your fallen twin and you somewhere else <clears throat> with somebody else. They're trying to seek revenge on you or, or and this fallen twin because I feel like maybe this fallen twin is not worried about them no more. They want you back or something like that. What's this gaslighting? Gaslighting for what? Yeah, intense emotions. Was both still in love? Chill the fuck out. Was <laughs> both still <laughs> a celebration? Yeah, birthdays, events. That's in the reverse. Then we have hiding out, detaching from everyone, peace and quiet. And guarded. Somebody does not want to be bothered with someone else. I feel like you don't, obviously. I feel like you've been not wanting to be bothered with somebody else. But. And you made it clear because you stopped being bothered. Like you don't you don't check their messages or you don't deal with them or whatever this is. This is somebody else that's <clears throat> doing the most to someone that don't want to be bothered with them. That probably still wants to be bothered with you. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's see, man. My cat hair flying around everywhere.
<laughs> Somebody saying chill the fuck out. <laughs> okay, yeah. So what's this Aquarius reverse with ignoring the signs, stolen money, stubborn, and closed chapter? Yeah, the death card in reverse, Scorpio. Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, and the Emperor reverse. Exactly. <laughs> what what is this here? The Two of Swords, Libra Moon. Yeah, so somebody here is stuck there at a stalemate or they don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, somebody's around a whole group of a whole mob of ill intentioned ass people. People that are clout hungry, fame hungry, they like drama, they like mess, they're very egotistical, or they just need attention. Three of Pentacles reverse. This is like groups of people. So, yeah, look, the star in reverse. Aquarius. It's... So, this this two of swords, like I said, could be like somebody being in denial, possibly. What else? We're going to see. Let me just see what else comes out. The world in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's like in denial that they failed at something or something failed. It didn't work out. So this is like a disappointment. Somebody feels like they have to cut their losses or whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, because you're focused on something else, building something else or whatever. <clears throat> I feel like somebody's heart chakra is closed too. They're not, they're not whole. They're not complete within themselves. They're not happy at all. Like... So yeah, I feel like somebody is like a bit in denial and they're they're incomplete or they feel incomplete without you. But that just goes to show you that this person hasn't healed because you're not supposed to feel that way. Like you're supposed to be complete within yourself and then, you know, move forward to somebody else. I mean, to somebody once you, you know, you're not supposed to be running around looking for a boy to feel just period. So what's two of swords? Yeah, the King of Wands in reverse, Page of Wands reverse, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Right, so let's see. Let's do Swords because the Page of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> yeah, this could be like. This could be somebody here that's hasty or fearful. This could be someone too that's loud. They're dramatic. They're loud. They're messy as fuck. With the page ones in reverse, somebody's like when they when they don't get their way, they act out. Somebody's like, damn, this is what I chose or this is what I got with. I really, really somebody really regrets regrets that shit. Yeah, the empress in reverse, ten of cups reverse. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? But it is what it is. This could be too somebody here that's not doing their inner child healing. They just refuse to do it. What's two of swords with the page of wands in reverse? Somebody's behavior is really predictable. Or somebody's doing something that they normally do. And it's just like... Uh, and somebody... Okay. The eight of swords in reverse. Gemini, Jupiter... Queen of Wands reverse, King of Wands reverse right here. Somebody, this King of Wands in the reverse, this is a common couple going through it. Like this King of Wands in reverse don't want to be with this Queen of Wands reverse. Like they're really trying to get away from this person or sneak away or they're trying to like form some sort of plan and be methodical and strategic when, when trying to get away from this Queen of Wands in reverse. Or they're trying to plan to come back towards you to get something or to be with you or whatever. But I feel like this hierarchy energy is in the way. This could be like uh, either this is a high priest, somebody that you're with, okay, or you're in a new spiritual contract, or this could be like the law, the, the government is involved in whatever this is, so this person can't come towards you on some dumb shit. So they can't come back towards you, but this this queen of wands in reverse, this person, they want to continue to like steal or take something for, probably from you, or they, they still want to do something here, but it's, I don't, I like... I feel like it's a no. Like somebody just will not get something up. But the Eight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. 
Somebody, yeah, the temperance and the queen of cups. Someone is doing something that they normally do, but I feel like because, yeah, the high priest is upright, exactly. Because you're in the queen of pentacles. Somebody's definitely a high priestess. Very, you could be witchy, very mystical. You're a good witch, though. You're a healer. So, but I feel like with the eight of swords, you're coming out of your head about something or you're not, you've overcame some sort of psychological abuse. Or you've overcame something internally, whatever was keeping you stuck or restricted or bound. This could be your own self-imposed imprisonment. You're you're free from that. And somebody here thinks that whatever they're doing is going to work. They're stuck. Like they're they don't know what to do. I feel like somebody here wants to call a truce, or maybe they wanna, I don't know. We'll see if it so in reverse. The moon. Fear, paranoia, or worry, stress, anxiety, or this is you moving in silence with the moon, Cancer, Pisces, keeping something to yourself. Somebody here could be getting released from jail or they're out of some sort of prison or wherever you was at, it felt like you was in prison. Mm. But I feel like you moved in silence. Somebody here, for some of you, what's this Eight of Souls reverse with the moon? Somebody is hiding the fact that they're severely depressed is what I just heard too. Yeah, the five of cups, the moon, the five of cups. So somebody's hiding the fact that they're losing something or they're sad or they're disappointed. There's like somebody that's hiding something. They're hiding their sadness or their regret. Somebody's scared of losing you or they're scared of, of losing something. Or there's going to be some sort of loss here. I've been channeling that too a lot. Somebody noticed that, that they've been deceptive. They know what they did to hurt you or they know what they lied about. So it's like, and it's, it's, I guess it's hard for them to speak on it or say it or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's like they know what they did, but they're hiding it. They, they don't want to, maybe they're too embarrassed to say it or they probably are. Or they feel too ashamed or... They just did too damn much to the point where it's just hard to even speak about what actually happened. Yeah, so. For some of you, somebody, for some of you now, trigger warning, somebody here could be grieving the loss of a child. But it's because of some shit that they did. It's because of some shit that they did. Now it's like, I don't know. What's page one's reverse? 10, 10 is on the clock. The queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, this is an entitled as insecure as bitch. Yeah, and this is you, queen of swords. You can have air in your chart or whatever. But yeah, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody here is jealous. They're insecure. They're competing consistently. Somebody's emotions are really coming up to the surface. What's Page of Wands reverse? Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, the, the Temperance. Excuse me. Sagittarius. No, I'm about to say, what the hell? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's this bitch. I feel like this temperance here is you alchemizing energy uh, collective, divine feminine. This is you balancing something out of your energy. This queen of wands right here doesn't realize that you're, well, they do realize it, right? But you're protected. There's something that's balanced out or maybe this queen of wands is insecure because they think whoever this is that's sad about you wants to come reconcile with you. Possibly they want to fix something because they're in deep regret about some shit and they're hiding it. They're tired of hiding it or whatever. It's like it's taking over their whole like emotional and mental state. And I feel like this bitch is so hell bent on trying to like still do something to you. Yeah, like... <clears throat> Yeah, you have your guards up to this King of Wands in reverse. 
You don't want to be bothered with this person. You don't trust them, I feel. You don't trust them. So what's the what's the world reverse? And now people are only sad because something failed. What's the world reverse? What's the world in the reverse? Cause like, okay. Yeah, look, the King of Cups in the fucking reverse. <laughs> Yeah, look, the Queen of Cups. It's your ex, your your past person or whoever the fuck this is. This person is emotionally unavailable. They're a cheater. They're ruthless. I feel like they're very mean. They were unkind to you or whatever this is. Maybe somebody here had a plan to do nasty things to you or just be mean to you. And now I feel like, yeah, you're guarded. You didn't, you didn't switch up either. You didn't change your heart or you didn't become weak or sad or upset to the point where it's like, fuck everybody. I'm just going to dog everybody out. I feel like you kept your heart open, but you eliminated they ass. Maybe they didn't expect you to do it that way, but you did it that way. And I feel like you put your guards up. You don't got time for that shit. Or somebody is crying to you now or whatever because they don't have any strength. They feel inadequate or insecure. Or they have low self-esteem now or whatever. You just have your back turned. You're like, lottie dottie fucking die. <laughs> like, what the fuck you want me to do about it? So what's the world reverse with the king of cups in the reverse? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this King of Cups in reverse is no longer putting their time and energy into these third-party hoes. Or the gossiping or the slander. They don't want to be bothered with this shit. I feel like, yeah, they're tired. They could probably be tired of running around now. Good. Good for them. Hopefully, they do some healing work after this shit. About damn time. So, this was a seven. Maybe this is you not investing your time into this King of Cups any anymore because they're emotionally unavailable anyway. So, it is what it is. But the Seven of Pentacles is delays, is setbacks, is frustrations. I feel like this King of Cups here, this could be a change of plans. They want to change their plans up now. There's no growth. Somebody is not getting something out of this. It's, it's just, it's a waste of damn time, Seven of Pentacles reverse. This person realizing that they made a bad investment. What's the King of Cups reverse? What they... The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, all this faking their wealth and all this trying to look the part when they really ain't shit is what they need to be sitting down and realizing about themselves and heal from it. That's all you can do. The first step to healing is acknowledgement. Just period. It's time to heal, bro. And these bitches, these hoe-ass loser hoes, Cause they be, they really be the main ones. Like bitches are so scandalous. Like they be worse than men half the time. They really are. I don't give a fuck. Well, you, well, you're a pick me bitch. I can be that. Y'all bitches is raggedy. And I'm going to keep saying it. Cause it's true. These men, they horrible too. And as a woman, we, we all know what these little boys do. We know what they do. But if you have any friends as women, 311 on the timer, or if you had any kind of women around you, they all like they well not all I ain't gonna say all of them, but most of them they they do too much, they do too fucking much, and then they try to be sneaky about every fucking thing. Like bitch, I'm a woman like you, I can see you, hoe. The fuck are you doing? People are bitches are raggedy. They like mess. They like drama, and they love to fight over dick. A dick that don't want them, and us either. But they want to fight you over something that doesn't want neither one of us. Like it's weird. But anyways, yeah, so the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like this person feels like there's no point in, in trying to steal from you again or take from you again. Because for some of you guys, you're a trendsetter here and you broke a generational curse or so something is, is over anyways. This person is, is, is too much for them to try to keep up this facade at this point is what I'm getting. They could also be losing everything. They're not getting anything. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody here trying to steal someone's inheritance. Somebody faking their wealth, but this could also be a loss of stability, security. This person could be losing shit. It's because it probably was never theirs in the first damn place. Or for some of you, this King of Cups wants to get a divorce or whatever this is. But somebody just feels like they're not getting anything out of something that they're doing. So they want to back out of it. They're they just going to take this L. And that's what the fuck they need to do. Because I'm sick of pulling on you bitches that don't understand that something is over. Like, it's it's time to understand that. <clears throat> For some of you, this King of Cups in reverse could actually be a spirit that somebody has conjured up and sent out. 
something here that's chasing you down in your bloodline or this king of cups is somebody you know in your family or somebody you have a family with and you started a, you have kids with them or whatever the case may be this person is they're possessed by something they're they, they're being taken over by some shit yeah page of pentacles in reverse six of cups So anyways, what's, uh, let me write something down before I forget. Let's just check my phone with this uh holding on to your energy toxic toxic energy coming back around and out late at night maybe somebody here could be spending like late hours out and this bitch don't know where the fuck this man is at because they're emotionally closed off to them so they don't want to be bothered with them and they're spending hours out late at night i don't know if they think they with you or not but i feel like they're not <laughs> like they're not just because somebody don't want to be with you doesn't mean that they getting ready to, like we're not the easy option bitch you are and he don't even want to be bothered with you so i don't understand what you what you think like i'm confused let's check my phone with all this other stuff yeah the knight of swords in the reverse So, this Knight of Swords in Reverse is bullying energy. It's an attack or somebody's like being really impulsive. This could be somebody too that has an inferiority complex. They feel like they know everything. They're a know-it-all. Okay, somebody here is a follower. And this is somebody too that leads other people to danger. So, what else? the eight of wands in reverse something is there could, there could be for some of you there's some sort of criminal activity here that's coming back on somebody yeah look somebody here could be going to jail five of swords in reverse with the knight of swords in reverse somebody's a criminal or they're a spiritual criminal or whatever yeah that's why they ass don't want to do this shit no more because something is going back or it's like they don't have the, the spice, the sauce that they have. Like they're losing momentum or something is losing momentum. But this could be like a negativity. The, the negativity and the nasty energy that somebody sent out is coming back. Just period. For some of you, somebody in someone's family passed away. And how they passed away wasn't legit. Or, or how they passed away wasn't. And what was in the autopsy or whatever wasn't the truth. Somebody here did something criminal. Yeah, so this could be like unfinished business or somebody here missed an opportunity. What's the Knight of Souls in reverse? The Five of Pentacles reverse? What's the Knight of Souls reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse? The Chariot. So... The post, there could be some police officers that confiscated somebody's money. They, I'm saying like they're taking all the drugs that they have and they're taking their, their money as well. Like they're confiscating that stuff. I don't know. Somebody could be getting pulled over by the police or they're getting ready to get in trouble. But cancer energy, we got towards Mercury. So I feel like, yeah, 
love wins over hate here. This is you feeling determined and having self-discipline. You pushing through some sort of obstacle and challenge here. You could be coming out of some sort of financial hardships. Okay, this could be you getting a new job or some of you guys are getting ready to get some money to get your car fixed or you could be getting a new car. Okay, this night of souls in reverse too could be you learning how to go with the flow of things or whatever, but there could be some sort of evidence in a car or somebody's traveling to get money. Maybe you guys are traveling or you could travel for work. Maybe this could be a new job with the new, with the five of pentacles reverse and the chariot or somebody here traveled to do something. Somebody's like out late at night attacking other motherfuckers. Like, what are they doing? Somebody here did something or they're doing something in, in secret. That could actually get their ass locked up. I don't know what somebody doing. Maybe to get themselves out of some sort of financial buying or hardship. Somebody's like a hitman or something. Knight of Souls in reverse. Yeah, look, the Six of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Wands in the reverse in the Hierophant. Somebody here could be getting caught up for like a murder. Somebody's like a murder. I'm hearing murder for uh, murder for hire or how I go. Hire for murder or whatever the fuck. Trigger warning. Yeah, somebody's like being strategic, very methodical, very sneaky. This is for money, for help. Somebody think this person with you, I feel like they're getting caught up for some other shit. I feel like they're getting ready to get caught up by the authorities, though. The King of Wands, or for some of you, this King of Wands is who this King of Cups has hurt. And the police are uncovering it. The laws, the, institu the institutions are in the mix of everything. Somebody here could be a woman judge or a woman lawyer or something like that. But for some of you, this is a warlock and they're doing something spiritual. They ass getting caught up for this, though, about this Hierophant. Or they ass could be trying to take from you, but this Hierophant could be your counterpart. And they see them in the spirit trying to take something from you. Yeah, look, the High Priestess and the Justice in reverse and the Tower and the Emperor in the reverse and the Death card in reverse. For some of you, somebody here has survived a death. They didn't die. <laughs> like Somebody thinks somebody did, but they're not. What the fuck is this today, Divine Feminine? I don't know. What's the, uh, somebody could have, trigger warning, somebody could have killed a, a mother and a child? Like, somebody could have drugged someone or, look, I don't know. What's the eight of wands in the reverse? The magician? Virgo, Gemini. What's Eight of Wands in reverse with the Magician? Or oh, this is what they were trying to do. Okay, the High Priest is reversed this time. So, the Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Six of Wands reverse. So anyways, Pisces energy. So I'm getting unwanted attention or somebody here having uncontrollable outbursts. Or this could be self-doubt. Maybe, I, I don't know if you're doubting your abilities or you're doubting something within yourself. I don't know. This could be a dark witch, possibly. Maybe somebody's traveling to this person to get work done. But the magician, I feel like with it upright, that could be your energy where you're feeling empowered or you're, you're manifesting something. This is you creating or manifesting and, and having a strong mental, having a strong mind. Yeah, there's some like unwanted attention here. I feel like this shit going back on somebody. What the hell is the high priestess in reverse? Or whatever this is. Yeah, the six of pentacles, Taurus moon. What's the high priestess reverse six pentacles? The four of pentacles, Capricorn.
That's ten pentacles. We got the ten pentacles here. It's in a reverse though. So I feel like this could be some sort of equal give and take or reciprocity. Or for some of you guys, you have a hidden talent or a hidden gift here. Something about you is hidden or somebody's maybe trying to block whatever this is to stop you from being able to. They, they don't want you to. They Somebody's holding on to you for some of you because they need help. So there's unwanted attention coming towards you. This person is or whatever this is. Or they're trying to do something spiritual to you to get your attention. Because they need to come out of some sort of financial bind or hardship themselves. So they're trying to take something from you. Four of Pentacles is like greed or possessiveness. This could be maybe you're you're keeping something close to your chest, Divine Feminine. You're budgeting. You're holding something close to your chest. Or this is this person holding on to you because they still need, they need your help. They need something from you. So this person is trying to disturb your damn peace or trying to make you feel fucked up subconsciously. So you can catch on to something that they need help with. I feel like bitch, just say it. But they can't do that though because they didn't already did too much attacking you. So I feel like they're still doing it. Really? What's the magician? I feel like somebody's hold yeah, you're manifesting a family. I feel like somebody is holding on to the fact that they didn't try to sabotage you. But I mean I feel like you already know about it. Somebody doing too much. But the magician and the Ten of Cups. So you're you've manifested, or this is what you're you're manifesting a family. You're focused on love. You're focused on um love, unconditional love with the Ten of Cups. This is a faded union as well. For some of you. Oh. Somebody here just tried to attack um you, but I feel like with that higher fit energy is your masculine. Somebody just tried to throw you off and it didn't work. It's backfiring now. Yeah, because somebody here learned how to go with the flow or they learn how to do something. Somebody is coming out of some sort of bind or hardship. There's some money coming in. Somebody here wanted you to doubt your intuition about somebody that you're making money with or about um somebody that you're starting a family with. They wanted you to doubt your intuition. So maybe somebody has been attacking your masculine. And it failed. Yeah, this King of Cubs, they do magic too. They're not getting anything out of these attacks. Somebody here, I feel like too, with the Queen of Wands reverse, this is not another bitch. This Queen of Wands reverse could be you where you're healing your wound. Somebody, for some of you guys in a past life, this person assassinated you. In a past life, they killed you and a child. Trigger warning. Somebody here is trying to block you from having a child that you're supposed to have. This could be an earth angel child, your divine counterpart's child. Somebody's trying to block you from having this. This is some deep ass past life stuff I've been pulling in lately. like somebody wants to break you down and then come rescue you somebody like this they want you to need them so bad but you don't Yeah, the moon and the five of cups. I'm getting a lot of grieving. I'm getting a lot of releasing right now. Something here that you, you're you doing here requires patience too with the temperance. Or there's something that you need to do in moderation. Okay, with the temperance. Or you are moderating something. You are in the process of cleansing, purging, moderating things, whatever it could be. Yeah, whoever this is, this king of cups in reverse is holding on to your energy. And somebody's doing something late at night to try to attack you or, or come towards you or get you. But I feel like they ass is blocked. You got something. You want something. I don't know why I'm picking up now, man. There's a masculine energy here that that um 
fought through something on your behalf spiritually. Yeah, somebody here is in jail or they getting ready to go to spiritual jail. It's just, for some of you, it's your masculine that that's blocking somebody from trying to siphon something from you. Yeah. Four Wands in Reverse is a contract being broken. It's over with. And something is coming into balance. Two of Pentacles. Or somebody's like juggling. They're fluctuating. They don't know what the fuck to do. For some of you, somebody's married to a gold digger. They don't even want to be with this bitch. They're trying to find an escape or they're trying to get away. For others of you... Hmm. Pisces in the reverse. It's hangman reverse. Somebody here is trying to sacrifice you. The shit not working. Yeah. The hermit reverse, the empress reverse, will of fortune, the fool. Hmm. Yeah, let me keep going. So let me see what's um What's time for me? Marriage and tunnel vision. The four souls in reverse. Libra, Jupiter. The ace of cups in reverse. Somebody didn't think that someone was going to catch on to something. Yeah, this emperor in the reverse, this karmic masculine. Somebody here was conjuring up something or sent something out to attack another man, and it didn't work. This is spiritual, but it could be in real life, whatever the fuck. Things are happening in real life. Somebody's mind could have been gone for a minute, or their money could have been fucked up for a minute. They were completely restricted. But I feel like somebody realized something though with the with the page of swords. They they did check something. It doesn't have to be a phone. Maybe they checked something internally with themselves and decided to detach from whatever this was that they needed to look into. And it broke some sort of hex or something off of somebody. The tower, the justice reverse, and the emperor. And the six of swords. Yeah, now you're moving forward or you're moving into peaceful and calmer waters. Whoever this emperor is, they don't want to release you. And this king of whoever this other masculine is, they know about it. Or something like that. Yeah, like what what's so So I'm getting with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is a cancel celebration. I feel like this too is unrequited love or repressed trauma, repressed emotions. Maybe you're awakening to the fact that you are repressing your feelings or whatever the fuck this is, or this is somebody else's fucking ass. Somebody else is like in your energy on some shit. What's the four swords reverse? Yeah, the three of wands. This could be you finding that mental strength again, coming out of uh, whatever the stalemate energy was. This is an awakening. So yeah, four swords in reverse, three of wands. There's a sense of foresight that you have or this is you feeling confident about the decisions that you made thus far with the three of wands or somebody here is waiting for something. What's four swords in reverse with the three of wands? Get yeah, child, the empress upright. I'm so happy you flipped in the upright. Like seriously. <laughs> Yeah, somebody is trying to oppress you here. The high priestess, I feel like this is you, it, like representing you in a past life. And the high priestess too, I'm getting strong. Something too about fertility issues again. Queen of Wands in reverse. That's, yeah, I feel like somebody is trying to attack you spiritually. Yeah, but they're being blocked. Yeah, child by this fucking hierophant. I can't make that shit up, bro. Spiritually, this is going on on a spiritual level. This person, this hierophant energy is authoritative in the spiritual realm. The high priestess in reverse, I feel like it's still you where you've been sacrificed in a past life. Somebody here tried to block you or stop you from doing something that you're supposed to be doing with your counterpart in a past life. For some of you, it's having children. It's starting a family. Magician with the Ten of Cups, you're manifesting children. I wrote on my community tab, this shit is coming out a lot. So I feel like in the near future, for some of you in three more days, you're going to find out you're pregnant or maybe doing... Um, maybe you're having your baby by Taurus season, Libra season or Libra season you conceived. Okay, what's the season? Scorpio? Yeah. Is it still Scorpio? About to be Sagittarius? Okay, yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. This Ace of Cups in Reverse 2 is infertility or miscarriage. I keep channeling it. It keep coming out. I can't help it. You're going through a deep, deep awakening here. Yeah, the Fool and the, and the Will of Fortune. Yeah, some sort of curse or hex is broken off of you. It really is. What's this Three of Wands with the Empress? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working towards something. Something is progressing or there's something that's getting ready to change with your work. If some of you guys are not destined to have children with your person or whatever the fuck this is, you can't have no more children because your age or whatever your circumstances are. You are doing something here. You're creating something. This could be you starting a business or whatever. But the Eight of Pentacles is a commitment. It's focus. You could be focusing on your health, on your 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 femininity or whatever the fuck. But you're definitely focused on something. I feel like you're very skilled at doing something as well. As a divine feminine or whatever you do for work, whatever this is. Some of y'all are getting a new job. But this is you building up the confidence too in something. Because somebody here was trying to make you doubt something. But it's not true. You, you're definitely fine. You're definitely fertile. You're okay. Somebody's like trying to dig deep into your subconscious to make you feel like... Somebody here is spying on you. They see another child somewhere. Like spiritually, they know that you're meant to have children or be with somebody else and they're trying to block it. Yeah, Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, Strength Card Reverse. Yeah, what's Ace of Cups Reverse? The Two of Wands Reverse. What's Ace of Cups Reverse, Two of Wands Reverse? Aries, Mars, the five of wands in the reverse. <laughs> the devil reverse, yeah. This person is stuck. They're stagnant. They can't move. They can't do anything. Five of wands reverse is somebody here wants to compromise or whatever. They want to heal something with you, but I feel like they're restricted. So this could be a cancer celebration because this shit ain't going to work. So I don't... Mm-hmm. Something is balancing out. If you, if you, if there was some sort of reproductive issues, what I'm channeling, somebody health. It, this could this because you have some sort of you need to do for some of you, especially for my twins. There's some karmic clearing that needs to be done, and then you can go on and have a successful pregnancy. This could be a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement. Something is going to be successful after you clear out this karma. That's what this is about. I feel like ain't shit wrong with you. You're fine. Ain't shit wrong with you. I mean, still get checked. Go to the doctor or do whatever it is that you do. But I feel like you're fine. Somebody is gaslighting you right now because they need your help. They they don't want you to be with nobody else either. But they're still attacking you and shit like that. I feel like somebody, this person is crazy. Yeah, page of pentacles in reverse. Somebody keep on doing this weak ass fucking magic. Or they keep on doing this divination spying. Yeah, it's like somebody is spying into your life or... Trying to get access to your fucking Akashic records or whatever. But I feel like this person knows you so well, quote unquote. Quote unquote. They know you so well because y'all have past lives together. So they just they just know. They can feel your energy. You can feel theirs. Things like that. Somebody here really think they're going to go on this journey with you. If they do magic and bind y'all together or whatever. No the fuck they're not. <laughs> no the fuck they're not. Somebody here just don't want to release you. They don't want to let you go, but they want to move on into peaceful and calmer waters after they looking like this. Bitch, no the fuck you're not. This person can ready to go to jail. They can ready to go to jail for real. They ass can ready to end up being oppressed. The sun reverse. King of souls reverse. The hummer reverse. They scared as fuck. Something get ready to happen to this person. I don't know what, but they didn't got caught by, I feel like your person in the spirit. Or they got caught by some sort of angel or somebody here that's watching over you. Yeah, look, they keep showing up. The Hierophant, the Seven of Wands. Because, yeah, somebody's like competing with this Hierophant. This Warlock is. They're competing. What's the... So...
What's this left out in the cold with gaslighting? Chill the fuck out. Intense emotions. Both still in love. And celebrating in the reverse. Somebody's trying to gaslight you. Maybe this both still in love is you and this marriage energy. Whoever this is you're marrying. Or your kingdom spouse. Yeah, the sun. The sun? I'm glad it came out upright. Leo energy, what else? And the nine of wands. So protection. Yeah, I, I, sometimes I get the nine of wands here as protection. Or this is you guarding and defending yourself. But the nine of wands is that I feel like this is a masculine energy, a very strong masculine energy that's protecting you. This karma, when this karma hit, this going to be their last motherfucking time doing this. Their last. Because. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius moon. So this is, yeah, this is um war. I'm, I'm just getting warrior spirit with the nine of wands. An ongoing battle, but you being close to success, you being close to getting something. The sun is definitely freedom. Or somebody here that has been beat the fuck up throughout throughout this warfare, this period of warfare, but they didn't came out successful. Somebody here won. They got a victory. It's <laughs> like, what the hell? What's the sun? Wow. The seven of cups, the hermit reverse, the king of swords in the reverse, and the ace of swords reverse. Strong air. We got Virgo, Scorpio. Scorpio, Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like your unconditional love unlocks something for a masculine in your energy. Because I feel like at first they were scatterbrained or they couldn't think straight or... Something was was not working. For others of you, yeah, whoever this King of Swords is, they feel like they're gonna dictate and control some shit. This person could be very argumentative or just like I said, controlling very mentally and emotionally manipulative. Definitely somebody here could be in a very hostile environment. They're paranoid, they're scared, or they're whatever the fuck this is. Seven of Cups is that confusion energy. Or somebody's like fantasizing about you, thinking about you, whatever. I feel like you're free from this shit. This confusing ass, fucked up ass energy with this King of Swords in reverse. What is it? Who's what's this? King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles in reverse. All this fucking spell work. And this divination spine. What's the Ace of Swords in the reverse? Five of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse. So yeah, somebody here failed. This Ace of Swords in reverse is a failure. Somebody did not get a victory. They will not get a breakthrough. Yeah, because somebody here fought. I don't know if it's you or somebody else in your energy. But the Five of Swords is also defeat. Or this is somebody here trying to win at all costs by blocking you or causing you to be disinterested in something that you're you're trying to birth that's new. Whatever this, whatever a, a possible new passion in the beginning would be or could be, they're trying to get you to stop doing something. And it didn't work. Or somebody here, like I said, this Five of Swords is you fighting back or somebody else did. And they got a victory, so they lost Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody here stood up and did something. Because I feel like maybe the person that fought back was blocked. Like, they were blocked. But So this was some sort of war. Like, this is some sort of like... Uh, yeah, what's this? Seven of Cups. Yeah, the three of swords. Exactly. A heartbroken ass ex or somebody that put you in a damn third party. Doesn't have to be an ex. Y'all probably wasn't even together for some of you. They just put you in a third party because they felt like they could or whatever this shit is. Whatever it is. Yeah, look, nine of cups, the two of pentacles and the hierophant. This hierophant is not playing with no damn body. Any man that's popping up in your energy, because I see multiple. King of swords, king of wands, king of cups reverse, king of pentacles reverse, all they asses. This could be one karmic masculine. They just shape shift like a motherfucker. Or this is multiple men that feel like they're going to keep you stuck and block you from this hierophant. This hierophant tops every damn body. They're stronger than every damn man that's coming up in this reading in the reverse. So, 
feel like you could probably maybe you have up to three people that's heartbroken and you have a lot of options that feel some kind of way about you all they has been defeated it don't even matter and whatever this is right here this nine of cups does if this is love here it relates to marriage it relates to pregnancy it relates to sensuality pleasure this could relate to to fame recognition accolades rewards success wish fulfillment something is balancing out too with your sexual health because i don't feel like you have an std i feel like if anything it was a sexually transmitted demon that's healing and, and moving away yeah four of wands reverse the star reverse ten of wands in reverse this is like a strong chakra clearing i don't know what chakra but i'm getting strong sacral chakra whatever this was that was on you is off so what's nine of wands yeah, the judgment in the reverse. What's nine of wands? Judgment reverse. The devil, exactly. Mm. Capricorn. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Exactly. This is a war against the damn devil. The judgment in the reverse is a lack of self awareness. It's self doubt. Is somebody still repeating a karmic lesson because of their addictions and their bad habits? Somebody is still toxic as fuck, or they just embody the devil. Like they just. They're just toxic as hell. Somebody here that don't want to deal with their judgment. What's the judgment reverse with the devil? They don't want to deal with their bad karma. Yeah, the hangman in the reverse. They don't want to be sacrificed. They don't want to be hung or they don't want to be like, what the fuck? But they are though. <laughs> they can really get the fuck up out your way. Yeah, this is like negative patterns on repeat or somebody here is scared. They're trapped. They're stuck somewhere. They're stagnant with the hangman reverse or this is you where you don't have no interest in this damn devil energy and somebody's toxic ass behavior you don't want to deal with that shit you already put your boundaries up one time this person don't get it so wow let's see okay let me pull from here first mm. I don't know what to pull. <laughs> Let me see. I like my modern goddess deck. Let me pull from here. I'm hearing Jocelyn's song. I like the way you are. I like the way you are. I think that's how it goes. Her new song. <laughs> from the cabaret. <laughs> Look, I do. I, I ain't gonna lie. I do watch that kind of stuff. It's entertaining. I know how to watch shit and don't let it get in my spirit. But like that shit is funny. And <laughs> Jocelyn, Jocelyn is funny anyway. So, I don't know. but anyways, let's see. Give me some of these for divine things. The fairy, the fairy. Okay. What else? Yeah, this is a stubborn ass Aquarius. So they got Aquarius somewhere in their chart. Somebody here was ignoring the signs about how somebody was stealing their money or they didn't understand it at first. Somebody here bounced back fast. And it's crazy because it's masculine. Y'all energy really not showing up like that. Or somebody's trying to steal from this divine feminine and this masculine. Somebody here stepped in to save you, to help you. We have Scaradwin, Change, Saradwin, or whatever. Iris, Demeter, and Aphrodite. Yeah, pleasure. I forgot how to say her name, but ceremonies. I don't know how to say her name. I forgot. And then we have the shadow master. Exactly. And the witch. Somebody here is prone to working through dark shit. Like you're not scared of no damn demon <laughs> or whatever the fuck. You're truly not. So let me see. So the key word is play for the fairy. 
the yeah the fairy or whatever. Play. The symbols are nature, yellow tra yellow tailed black cockatoo, quokka, and then lead beater possum. Your affirmation is I embrace the healing magic of play. Fairies embody the spirit of pure love for life and the belief that anything is possible. Our fairy lives life with arms wide open and dances with the elements, nature, and animals. She is adorned with leaves and, and big bright wings. She calls for all to come and play and let our inner child experience the wonders of life. Fairies are sensitive and powerful empaths connected to nature and are very compassionate and empathetic to all living creatures. The fairy has come into your life today to invite you to play, especially if it's something that you haven't been able to make space for lately. When was the last time you let your inner child come out and play? Make time in your busy schedule to give your inner child some playtime and some healing energy. You'll feel happier, healthier, and have more energy. If you have children in your family, have a play day with them. Life can wait. Time with children helps you remember how to play, all while making them feel loved and valued. So it says, work with the fairy. Build a fort out of cushions or play another favorite childhood game. Finger paint and play with bubbles and dress up like a fairy and embody the archetype. Then we have change. So I feel like maybe you did something. You incorporated some play into your life or things have been too serious or whatever this is. So I feel like you just was like, fuck it. Let me surrender this shit and let me just go and do something else with my time. And I feel like that's kind of like what broke something off. Spirit is trying to teach you how something about your life and teaching you how to trust in them more. And stop being so serious about shit. So we have Sarah Duin here, or Kara Duin. Change. Let's, let's read Iris. The key word for Iris is communication. The, the symbols are wings, rainbow, and sky. Your affirmation is, it is safe for me to speak my truth and be heard. Iris is a Greek goddess and winged messenger of communication. She can travel at the speed of light to deliver news. She is a neutral goddess who doesn't take sides in the disputes between the gods or humanity. She is welcomed throughout the world, the underworld, and the dimensions in between. <laughs> the immortals, I mean, but the truth between, she acts as a facilitator of truth between the immortals. Since all trust her, she will witness those swearing oaths. As a personification of rainbows, her appearance brings hope. She has the power to calm storms and bring back the light. Hmm. Iris understands the great power that lies in communication, and she has appeared in your reading today to let you know that you wield more power than you may think. Your words can be life-changing. Be conscious of what you are saying to people and yourself as they create the reality around you. If you have been waiting for a sign to let your voice ring out, this is it. It is time to speak up and say what is really on your mind and in your heart. Allow yourself to be heard and know what, and know that what you have to say has value. So it says work with Iris. Practice speaking only positive things about yourself and the people in your life. Write a letter to someone you would like to forgive or have closure with even if you don't send it. And chase rainbows. And when you see one, spend time admiring and meditating on it. So there could, be, could have been some sort of change with how you communicate. Hmm. The key word is tenacity for Demeter. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? <laughs> the symbols are cornucopia, corn, bees, and honey. And the affirmation is I can and I will. It says Demeter is the Greek goddess of the earth, agriculture, and fertility, who is extremely passionate and loyal to her family. 
When her daughter Persephone was abducted to the underworld, Demeter was tenacious in her search. She was so single-minded in her hunt for her daughter, the seasons stopped changing and all living things started to die. Her determination paid off and a deal was struck so Persephone could return to Earth so the seasons could continue. Hmm. Demeter's message is never to give up. This is a sign you are on the right track and you just need to keep going. You have no idea just how close you are to a breakthrough. So while it may feel like a lot of hard work now, know that it will be worth it. You will thank yourself later for all that you have done to improve your life and yourself. If you truly want something, you need to let go of distractions and persist until you get what you want. Success is usually 10% glamour and 90% bloody hard work. You can't have what you want in life without being willing to work for it. Embrace Demeter's tenacious energy and go after your goals. So it says work with Demeter. Get some good noise canceling headphones or put your phone on silent to block out distractions. Join a mastermind group with other people who are doing the work for their dreams and read books about tenacious people. And then we have Aphrodite here, pleasure. So I feel like for some of you guys, if you're, if you're trying to conceive or have a baby, spirit wants you to keep trying. But pleasure, the, the Aphrodite card, this talks about orgasms and something about your sexual energy. Okay. It's kind of like the energy of play too. Yeah, the key word is pleasure. The symbols are scallop shell, pearls, mirrors, and dolphins. The affirmation is it is my divine right to experience pleasure. Aphrodite is the Greek goddess of love, beauty, pleasure, and passion, and is known for being the most beautiful being to ever exist. She was born from the ocean and the water surrounding Cyprus and is a deity of the ocean. She took many lovers and even married, but she is the matrion goddess to sex workers and was never ashamed of her beauty or the pleasure of the body. Aphrodite's worship endures, and there are many rich myths about her incredible power and her lovers. Pleasure is an essential part of our spiritual journeys. Aphrodite is here today to remind you to focus on what brings you pleasure in life. Have you shut down your receptivity to pleasure? There are many reasons why we disconnect from pleasure, but it's now time to reconnect by clearing your sacral chakra. Right. You can do this by belly dancing, drumming, yoga, eating orange foods, swimming, creating art, and having a few orgasms, partner optional. Give yourself permission to receive pleasure and build from there. So it says work with Aphrodite. It said orgasm, solo with a lover, try a toy or something new. Give yourself the gift of the pleasure of your body. Explore the tantric arts or a kink and look for pleasure in the little things outside of the bedroom. So yeah, definitely sacral chakra clearing for sure. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you're changing up the way you're trying to manifest something. Now now I feel like you're in a flow of things. Something something had your mind or your subconscious making you believe that you can't do something, but that's not true. So I feel like you changed something. For some of you guys, like I said, because I keep getting this, if you're trying to conceive a baby, I feel like instead of you trying so hard, you're now just deciding to say, fuck it. And just start enjoying sex because maybe you're not enjoying the sex with your partner as much as you could be because you're trying your mind is so focused on you having a child, right? You get what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe if you have past lives where something happened to your children, happened to a child, or whatever this is, that's clearing out because you didn't already pass your test in the past. I mean, in this lifetime. So you're clearing out some sort of past life karma. So this probably for some of you has something to do with that. Like, yeah, so. Hmm. You're changing the way that you communicate to source, to God, to your your spirit team because you're obsessing over something or maybe it is obsession and you need to release it over whatever this is you're trying to manifest. It's something that you focused a lot on, but... And this, because this past like soulmate, they know that you're trying to manifest something. They won't be trying to block it. Every chance they get, excuse me. This devil with the with the hangman reverse could be impulsivity.
the spirit of something somebody something is trying to cloud your judgment right here the devil and the, and the hangman something about your patterns mm. what's this play card this fairy so we have sagittarius here agreed don't move forward until you're ready or you're sure of decision. Something could fall through unexpectedly. Be careful with expeditions. Revise your approach if delays, greed, and desperation. Exactly. Something is, you're desperate for something. I don't know. Or does somebody else is that? Somebody is desperate for, they're desperate to get something from you. And you're having to alchemize your energy. Yeah, because I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse with the temperance could be you overworking or you being, um, this is like burnt out energy. This could be you feeling lethargic, tired. You're so focused on work, 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 but there is no play. Page of Wands reverse. Yeah, you're not honoring your inner child or something like that. That could be what that is right there too. Mm -hmm. So it says cancer energy, shadows. Yeah, self-centered, smugness, short-term goals, fake friend, sidelining others, delayed plans, creative blocks. Your sacral chakra, not the right time, indifferent, laughs at others, pain, feels good when they do better than others. I feel like that ain't true, but it's not the right time for something. Or it wasn't. But you do have somebody in the shadows that's greedy that's trying to take from you. But like I said, they're only a catalyst for your growth. All this spell work and all this past life shit, this is somebody that's just in your energy. And that's all they're doing is helping you grow if you look at it that way. You know, what's this caribou in here with change? Hmm. So we have overindulgence, Leo energy, overspends, need for caution, excessive, lack of balance, reassess priorities, dissatisfied, complacency, be aware of consequences. Not thinking ahead, show off, and reckless behavior. Then we have Libra here, reluctance, need to escape, but fearful or but fearful or plans are delayed. A lot of delays, yeah. Fixating on particular outcome, not the right time. Again, <laughs> lack of progress. Problems need to be addressed. Someone putting doubts in you, frustrated and making excuses. Hmm. What's communication? Melting, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusper. So much energy, but unsure of outlet. Ideas bubbling, but need to harness it. Unmotivated and uninspired. Lack of direction, frustrating delays. Lack of com commitment, difficulty conceiving a child. <laughs> like, I can't make that shit up, bro. That should be covered out so heavy. We got Taurus energy, passenger side, allowing others to dictate your decisions, not actively involved in decision making, following the leader, poor decisions, going along with bad plans that are against your best judgment. So I feel like things are difficult here for some of you, or they were, because somebody's sacral chakra need to be clear. Somebody had to set clear boundaries with someone. Hmm. Shit, maybe it's this King of Cups right here in the reverse. That's actually a person. They're in a reverse because they went through some sort of depressive state or depressive period. They're not honoring their gifts or not listening to their intuition. They're doubting their intuition. Which is setting somebody back. Yeah, somebody, this Knight of Souls in reverse is somebody leading them to danger, possibly. And because for some of you, you're, you're twins or you're, you're very strong, strong counterparts. So y'all have to be in alignment. Y'all can't, one person cannot be out of alignment and the other is. There's, y'all need to be in alignment. So I feel like this is something manifesting spiritually. Like this is something that has manifested spiritually that needs to be cleared. It's somebody's karmic debt that they're clearing. Yeah. Either it's you, Divine Feminine, or it's this damn masculine. It's this person. What's this Demeter? 
Yeah, somebody here that's gaslighting you, getting ready to get left out in the cold. Somebody's clearing somebody out their path, whoever this is, because that's causing some sort of sacral chakra blockage and that's your fertility. Yeah, we have Neptune here, deception. What else for Demeter? Lies and cheats their way through. Be careful of seeing things through rose-colored glasses. Victimizes others, victim of deception, feeling lost and disillusion, uses escapism or addiction to avoid or evade pain, easily tricks people, vulnerable to influences and no boundaries. Exactly. Somebody is setting up this shit. This could be your masculine. The darker side of them is, is coming up to the surface for them to heal it and move past it. It could be they sacral chakra fucked up. Like you think something wrong with your eggs or your quality. I feel like ain't shit wrong with you. Ain't shit wrong with this person either. Not Nothing is wrong with it. I'm not a one of you guys. I just feel like it's spiritual. Spirit is blocking things until you get it together. It was like, but I feel like with these, so we got radiance, prosperity, transition, desires, driver's seat, glowing, compassion. And then we have, okay, so we have naivety on this side. So let me see what this expansion says. So it says growth, expansion, and abundance in various aspects. This is Jupiter energy. Potential for growth, even in challenging times, higher power and spiritual understanding. Seek knowledge and expand horizons, good fortune, generous faith, new member entering family, overseas career growth. Yeah, somebody here could travel for work. With naivety and compassion, somebody's having compassion for somebody here that don't fuck with them. That's being deceptive. Somebody is trying to expand with this Jupiter energy, but they're around deception. That's what this is. Overextending beyond limits, overly optimistic, leading to errors in judgment, acting superior, prone to overestimating resources or overextending beyond limits. Be careful of squandering resources, reckless behavior, overly confident, moving without backup plan, ignoring red flags in career and love. Somebody's having compassion for the wrong motherfuckers. They need to have compassion for themselves. Shit, because, yeah, this shit is limiting somebody. It's, we got limited here and leaving behind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. What's what's this Aphrodite? Mm. Yeah, Libra energy, cold hearted. Shuts people out, excuses for bad behavior, mouthy and heartless, turn bitter and resentful or vengeful. Logic over heart, not empathetic, lacks awareness, unreasonable demands, allows emotions to get the best of them, not investing in others, communicates directly with facts. Yeah, somebody's like letting somebody else turn them cold hearted when they need to be independent. Mm hmm They say no, proceed with caution. Then we have death, Scorpio. Resisting necessary change, fear of change, learn to adapt. Something is ending and you can't stop it. Rigid, outdated strategies and thinking, endings, feeling anxious and stress, reluctance. There is no way back, cannot be fixed. It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, say no, move on. It's time for somebody to leave some, leave someone alone. Yeah, transformation, independence. Somebody is transforming and moving into a more independent energy and moving away from this naive energy. Somebody needs to stop being naive. This could be family. Mm -hmm. Wow, so somebody is making a transition, a major change away from their family or whatever yeah sacrifice illusions and confusion missed opportunities choices collaboration open to love Blood isn't thicker than water, child. I'm telling you, family ties on the other side. Yeah, somebody's getting downloads about their family. Smarter than thou. Injustice prevailing. We got downloads here. Downloads often come as sudden insights or revelations that bring clarity to confusing situations or dilemmas. Pay attention. Paying attention to these messages can help you gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your circumstances. Stay true to yourself and make choices that resonate with your authentic path. Then we have blood isn't thicker than water. 
The dynamics within your family aren't working out and are causing you more stress than you can handle. It may be time to sever ties with certain individuals who continue to drain your energy. It's not worth holding on to. It's not worth holding on to people who consistently have a negative impact on your mental health. Yeah, there's a some somebody's family is stuck in the matrix. They're not as ascended as whoever this is. We got peaked already. You may be feeling as if you've reached your peak in your chosen field, in your relationship, or in life in general. You may think you have reached the highest level you can attain, but there is much more to climb. Perhaps you just need to scale another mountain or challenge yourself in some way by taking a different route or trying something new. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody is tired of um, dealing with a ratchet ass family members that keep gaslighting their ass. This could be a Scorpio. Something is being illuminated. Wow, this is really deep here. Something is being illuminated to this King of Swords about their lack of boundaries and them not being honest or real about how they're feeling in terms of this King of Cups could be somebody's father or brother or something like that over here. And they're losing money or something is going on with some sort of generational. Somebody is, is not putting the time in or the effort into something. They're not, I don't know, but somebody's father or this is your baby daddy or something like that. Spirit is protecting you, Divine Feminine, from something until this person can get it together. I feel like this is you in a relationship. But there could be issues because somebody's family. They keep on trying to block someone from doing something. And somebody's getting tired of it. So they're getting ready to cut them off. Quiet suffering. You may believe that the optimal choice is to remain silent about a situation that left a bad taste in your mouth. However, enduring it silently will only embolden the perpetrator to continue victimizing you and potentially harm others. Advocate for yourself and report it. You, you possess far more strength than you realize. Stagnant, stuck energy. You may feel apprehensive about stepping out of your comfort zone or embracing uncertainty, preferring to remain in familiar but stagnant circumstances. This can limit your perspective and creativity, resulting in negative thought patterns or limited beliefs. Break free from the in the inertia holding you back. Inertia or whatever. Old school, yeah. You may feel like you're too old or have been made to feel old by others, but that couldn't be further from the truth. You possess a deep understanding of the world around you and have acquired skills and knowledge over time. Share your wisdom and let these youngins know you are able to bring more to the table than meets the eye. For some of you, somebody here has to raise their parents. That could be what I'm, that's what I'm channeling now. Somebody, somebody feels like they have to raise their own mama or daddy or something like that. We got to say less. <laughs> Sometimes it's necessary to speak up, but at other times there's a need to stay silent. You are receiving downloads and messages from others that require thoughtful listening. Sit with these messages and learn to interpret them in a way that can help you move forward with your decisions. Yeah, somebody here getting ready to be tunnel vision on y'all relationship with marriage and tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Then we have retaliation. You might feel tempted to retaliate with an eye for an eye, but it's strongly advised not to succumb to feelings of bitterness and vengefulness, as this could backfire later on. It's wiser to move forward and focus on living your best life because that is the ultimate revenge. Exactly. Mm. Talks too much and karma. Somebody got themselves caught up into something. <laughs> yeah, so now, yeah, somebody is getting ready to feel, see some sort of increase in their finances. Yeah, fulfilling others' dreams. Somebody's realizing that somebody's like an opportunist or they want to fulfill their dreams by leeching off of them or something like that. Yeah, wow. This is this is big here, uh, guys. 
buy yourself flowers. It says treat yourself with care, kindness, and self-love, even in difficult times. Take moments to appreciate yourself and your efforts, just as you would appreciate the beauty of fresh flowers. This can help boost self-esteem, promote resilience, and foster a positive mindset. Chasing your desires. Find sources of inspiration and motivation to keep you focused on your dreams. Surround yourself with positive influences. Visualize your success and remind yourself of your goals regularly. Stay patient, stay persistent, and trust in your ability to achieve your goals over time. Yeah, childhood wounds. Yes, the, somebody's parents didn't let them chase their childhood dreams in the past. Now that they're grown, they still don't want to let them chase their dreams. Somebody's just a hindrance. Yeah, Habitat and collaboration. Yeah, Habitat is y'all's union. You may be considering opening your home business, opening your own home business or creating a safer, more abundant space where you currently reside. You have the opportunity to grow and expand your bank account by utilizing your own resources and becoming your own boss, period. Yeah, this is nice. Child, revolving doors, down, lawyer up, downfall. Mm. Pain and death, strong bond. So we got childhood wounds, certain negative patterns keep repeating in your life and you feel stuck in a cycle. Nothing seems to change or get any better. You are being asked to look within yourself, seek help to target behavioral patterns and forgive yourself and others to move on. Mm -hmm. Then we have superficial boo. Be careful about placing undue importance on material possessions, social status or fleeting pleasures. Prioritize authenticity, genuine connections and personal growth. Cultivate relationships and experiences that nurture your soul and contribute to your overall well-being. Yeah, this somebody's childhood wounds is based around some superficial shit. So somebody, yeah. Readjusting and releasing. Inner child healing. Looking and feeling. Looking good and Feeling fierce. I feel like that's your energy on the opposite side of these cards. <laughs> or oh, whatever. Yeah, I, I, you know, I really feel you and your person energy. Somebody's ignoring the signs. This person is ignoring the signs about their money being stolen. Somebody's being stubborn about closing a chapter in their life, but they can ready to see now that they need to close it, or this is you. So very, very nice. Very nice. I, I like this reading. So, I mean, obviously besides the bullshit, but yeah. So spirit guides, I mean, not spirit guides. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.